Today, I'm gonna to be talking about some of the events we've been developing and iterating on. Hey everyone, this is Steven, here with another Making of the Bazaar. So today we're gonna to be talking about events, some of the ones we've been working on, and specifically ones that started their lives as community suggestions. We've got three of them that we've been working on, and they're actually all going really well. So I'm just gonna run you through sort of where they started, some of the different versions of them we've tried, and where they are now. So for the first one, I'm gonna talk about Loan Shark, which started its life as a suggestion of basically just a business loan. This one's from Lizard. Basically, this event is very straightforward. Loan Shark is a very reputable businessman who will give you three options. You can get a small loan, a large loan, or you can turn them down. If you turn down the Loan Shark, they get mad about it, they fight you, and it's a pretty normal sort of monster encounter. But it sort of ruins the event because the event is intended to be this interesting upfront decision about, do I want a lot of money to sort of kickstart my build at the cost of sometime later, I'm gonna have to pay it back. And so what we actually ended up doing that solved it is we just took out the choice entirely. So the way that Loan Shark works right now is when the Loan Shark comes back, there's only one option. And the option is pay back as much of the loan as you currently can. And what we found is now that there isn't an option at all, people have stopped asking to fight the Loan Shark. And I think it's interesting because the role of the Loan Shark hasn't changed. And where it currently is, there's some cool gameplay there now, but it's very simple and straightforward and it does what loans do. So I think that's working out really well. So the next one I wanna talk about is Sparring Partner, which is an example of a very, very simple design that people so far internally have found very rewarding and we're pretty excited about. This one comes from Ricardo. So the original pitch was a training dummy. We wanted to add a little bit more character to it. So we've turned it into, you know, someone who is more of a trainer themselves. Sparring Partner is a very straightforward enemy, but unlike most monsters, it will not die. The way it works instead is it's got a very small health pool, which resets its health every time you beat it in a fight and lasts up until the sandstorm. And every time you beat it, you get a gold. So basically it's a big punching bag and you get more gold out of it, the more damage that you do inside a time frame. It's this really cool testing mechanism for your build. And it's something that we have started seeing people, you know, get really excited about and post to each other like, hey, I got eight gold out of sparring partner. Have you gotten a build that does better? It's an interesting mechanism because the way that it tests your damage isn't too different than the way it's tested in PvP, except PvP has to deal with these other factors where your opponent is dazing you or your opponent is freezing you. And this is sort of a pure litmus test of how much damage can you deal in a certain period of time. And it's, it's very satisfying, so we're very happy with that. The third one I want to talk about is Hattie, the Street Magician. This one's from Banshee. So we got a very cool suggestion for a chance to put some money into the world and maybe get rewards later as sort of a, a karma event. Hattie the Street Magician is an opportunity to sort of tip a street performer. And if you do that, they'll keep coming back, which gives you small bonuses. And if you tip them enough, eventually they earn enough that they can retire and they can give you an extra big prize at the end before they head off. If you just watch the show, it's a big heal in the middle of the day, which will let you take on more monsters. And then the event is over. You won't see the Street Magician again. If you give them one gold, if you tip them lightly, you get the same benefits that you got for just watching the show. But because you tipped him, he knows that this is a nice neighborhood to perform in. And so he'll be back the next day. The large advantage has both the first two, and also you'll get some big stat buff permanently. Currently it is some regeneration, a bunch of health, a bunch of speed, or a bunch of strength. And it's random, but it's also very cost effective. If you give him a large tip three times, then the next time you run into him, he retires because you've given him a ton of money. And so he's putting on one final show. And again, you got some choices for that. One of the choices is you can inherit his hat. And what the hat is, is a unique item that gives the same buff that his five gold options have been given. But instead of being permanent, it's temporary in combat, but it happens on a cooldown, which I think is every seven seconds. And so it's this semi-random, but incredibly good scaling item. And so far, that's also turning out to be really cool. Build a Bazaar is working great. We've had a lot of fun working on your suggestions. And so we want to keep doing it. We've got a couple of pieces of art coming up. B1 and B2 and Look It, which are both pieces of art for merchants. We're not entirely sure what we want to do with them. So we're going to reach out to you, the community, and you're going to get to decide what we're going to do with those merchants. I hope you enjoyed hearing about events today. We look forward to seeing you next time on The Making of the Bazaar.